What's going on YouTube? I am back with another video. In this one, we're gonna have a PSA reveal video. So uh, I am switching it up a little bit again. Uh, if you guys have been checking out the schedule at the end of each video this month, I do have a tentative video schedule. Uh, that's why it is tentative because I have switched it up a little bit. I do still have quite a few blank spots as well. Uh, but I did get back a PSA submission from uh, someone who actually sent one in through me. So as you guys probably know, I don't really do the group submissions anymore. However, a few individuals have recently hit me up uh, saying uh, that they had big submissions to send in. And I am still willing to do uh, submissions for people who have like 50 or more cards. So this individual did have right around 50 cards to send in. And actually in this same submission, I did send in cards for another customer, but his was like 70 or 80. Uh, I'm not gonna show his, I just wanted to show these. Honestly, this was um, just some of my more, I guess, uh, favorite cards in the submission overall. Uh, there's some really, really nice ones in here. So I'm just gonna show this customers instead and not make the video like 30 minutes long. Um, so there's some really, really cool stuff in here again. So hopefully you guys do enjoy. And then um, I actually, uh, so today was actually supposed to be the retail card hunting video that will be pushed to tomorrow. And that'll make it a little bit easier on me since I am going to the Eastgate show um, in Cincinnati tomorrow. So I'll have a little bit more time to work on that. Uh, but definitely check that out. So we went retail card hunting and we found exactly what we were looking for and we had a really, really nice pool. So I'm excited to put that one out tomorrow. Uh, so be on the lookout. Uh, and real quick, also, before we do get into this particular customer submission, I do wanna show two cards from the other person I mentioned that they sent in, they sent their cards in because I'm honestly a little baffled at what happened here with PSA. So I have contacted them and asked them what is going on here. Uh, but this um, other individual that was in the same submission he sent in a bunch of these like Chronicles draft picks uh, Spectre cards. So this is out of 2022 Chronicles draft picks. He sent in some like Paolo Bancaro, Chet, uh, like some Donovan Mitchell stuff in the Louisville uniform. Um, so they all pretty much typically came back looking pretty normal. This is a normal slab. Paolo Bancaro, this one did get an eight. So they didn't really grade particularly well because they are a little bit, you know, thicker cards. But one card, and honestly, this was probably the best card in the entire submission for this particular customer, came back in a giant slab. And I honestly, when when the when the grades popped, I didn't. You know, this was well over a hundred card order. I did not go through every single card and look at it, uh, so I didn't catch it. Uh, I didn't. Honestly, I didn't see it until these just got delivered to me a little while ago. And I there was a. A, like a weird shaped package inside the box. I'm like, what is that? You know, typically it's in one of these, you know, that package or that box would contain one of these jumbo slabs. And I'm thinking like, why did they send me that? So I open it up and sure enough, there is a jumbo slab in here of the Paolo Mancaro Draft Picks Spectra Gold. So that's why I said this is probably the best card he sent in. Uh, I did end up getting a nine. And again, it is gold number to 10 in the Duke Uni but it is in a ginormous slab, like literally just the biggest slab I've ever seen. I, I honestly, I don't know if it's like the card is like a little bit oversized and this was the only thing they could put it in. Uh, they didn't really give an explanation. So I did reach out and figuring out what happened here, but I just wanted to show that because I, you know, when I opened the box and saw it, I was honestly a little like shocked and baffled. And I thought it's, it's, you know, a little comical, but uh, yeah, I'm just kind of shocked, figured I'd show that to you guys. I don't know what happened there. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this other submission. I'm gonna fly through these. Um, there is some lower end stuff in here, but there, again, there's also some really nice stuff. So we're starting off with Anthony Richardson Composite PSA 10. Um, we have a LeBron James Mosaic Red Wave 10. And overall, this person did actually do really, really well um, also. So really, really good grades here. Mostly nines and tens. There are a couple duds in here, uh, but for the most part, nines and tens. Really nice one here. Um, Donruss Optic, Anthony Edwards, um, Optigraphs Green International PSA 10. Um, I, actually, I thought that one was numbered. I guess that one's not numbered, uh, but that's gotta be super short print on the International Optic. And then we have a reigning threes gold of Kyrie Irving. That one did get a nine. So that one's the international as well. The gold is number to 10. 
Um, I thought that I honestly thought the green was number eight, but I guess it's not. All right, and then we have another um, Donruss Optic International. This was the green signature, Jason Kidd, and that one also did get a 10. So again, you guys can tell some really, really nice cards in here. We got the Wimby Elevate Green 10. And again, there's some lower end base stuff like this, but uh, definitely some more nice stuff to come. We got a Wimby Optic Base 9. We got the Wimby um, Optic Base 8. We got a Jaime Jaquez Optic Hollow. That one did get a 10. And then this one, I think, actually came from one of my mystery packs. Uh, so I do remember having this card. I'm not sure if he got it from one of my packs or if this is a totally different card. Uh, I think it is from one of my packs, and this one did get a 10. Jalen Duran, Blue Choice, numbered 249. Nice one there. And then we have an Oscar Thompson Prism Silver 10. A really nice one here as well. Brendan Miller, Prism Silver 10. We have a Wimby. That is just the base, but that one did get a 10. And we got a Wimby Base 9 and another really nice one coming up. So getting into a few Pink Ices. Starting off with a Wimby Pink Ice 10. So as you guys can see, this customer is absolutely killing it, making a huge, huge return. These were sent at value bulk, uh, which I forgot to mention. So I think I sent these in... Um, the cost for the customer, I think was around, right around like $20, maybe $19 or $20 a card. Um, so as you can tell, they're, this particular person is just absolutely killing it. Jaime Jaquez, that's gonna be the variation fast break 10. We have a LeBron fast break, that one did get an eight. And then we have a fast break blue, um, that is a Jordan Hawkins, and that one also got the 10. Another fast break blue, we got a Steph Curry, another 10 there. And a fast break purple, Magic Johnson, also with the 10. So the fast break stuff graded really, really well. Uh, we have a Keontae George fast break red auto. That one got a 10, number 299. <coughs> Excuse me. We got the Wimby Emergent Base 9. We got a Wimby Revolution Groove 9. And then we got a Paolo Bancaro rookie. That is going to be a red wave out of select. And that one did get a 10. Got a Wimby select 10. Uh, we have a blue. That one got a 10 out of select. So that's from the retail. And then I think, oh, that's another blue. I thought we had a blue prism. Maybe it's the next one. Uh, that one got a nine. And this one is the blue prism. And that one did get a 10. Very nice there on the Wimby. Another blue prism. That's going to be the concourse. Got a 10. And a blue ice Wimby 10, so absolutely killing it on the Wimby stuff. And then we have a rookie Revolution Green, also with a 10. Brandon Miller on the tricolor with a 10. And super, super cool one here. Damian Lillard Gold Flash Courtside Select PSA 10. Very, very nice there. And this one, I think, is our first dud coming up. So. We got a Dominique Wilkins Select In-Flight Tie-Dye number to 25, and that one got a five. So not really too sure what happened on this one. Um, I did not look at these. This person actually just sent them in and said, hey, they're good to go. I just want to send them through you. So I did not look at these. So I honestly don't have any idea uh, why that one got a five and then why this one got a four. So I think these were the only two duds. Unfortunately, it's the two Dominique Wilkins, but this one did get a four. So... Uh, maybe you guys can see it. I'm not sure why those got, you know, fives and fours. <clears throat> Moving on, one of my favorite parallels in the hobby. We got some Select Cosmic. Absolutely love these. Malachi Branham got a nine. We have a Jaden Ivy. That one got a 10. We have an Andrew Nimhard. That one got a nine. And nice one here, Donovan Mitchell. Just the Cavs are absolutely killing it right now. Who would have thought they would start? I think they're 9-0 right now. Who would have thought? Uh, but Donovan Mitchell, 10 there on the Cosmic. We have Jamal Murray, 10 on the Cosmic. And super nice one here. Huge card. Paolo Bancaro, Cosmic Rookie, 10. That is very, very nice. And then we actually have a select court side. That one's going to be Kyrie. That one did get a 9 on the Kyrie Cosmic. Another court side, we have Devin Booker. That one got a nine. And our, oh, we got a couple more court sides. That one got a 10 on the DeJounte Murray. 
And another court side, we have uh, Desmond Bain. That one also got a 10. And okay, so that one's a rookie. I was wondering why these are flipped around, but one, one's a rookie, so maybe, I'm not sure. Why did they do that? Yeah, I guess, okay. I guess, I guess the rookies are flipped maybe. But anyway, we got the, the Desmond Bain 10 and then we have a Jaden Ivy 10. And then switching over to football, we got a Chris Olave on the Cosmic. That one did get a 10 as well. And then last stack here, if you guys made it this far, I do appreciate it. We have a CJ Shroud Fireworks Green Wave. That one did get an eight. And then we have a Jackson Smith and Jigba Prism uh, Silver 10. We got a Tom Brady Silver 10. We have a Mac Jones Silver 10. And then really nice one here, CD Lamb Gold Sparkle PSA 10. So overall, just really, really good grades. I didn't do the calculations on like the gym rate, but really, really good. Um, Jamar Chase, speaking of Jamar, absolutely monster night against the Ravens last night, but uh, the Ravens did prevail. Another Jamar Red Sparkle 9. We got Amon Ross St. Brown 10 on the Red Sparkle. That's another really nice one. We got a Jamar on the Blue Scope. That one got an 8. And then Jalen Carter on the White Shimmer. I think that's a SSP. That one did get a 10. Uh, we got another White Shimmer, Jamar Chase. That one did get a 7. So not what we were looking for there. Um, Zay Flowers on the 10 on the Hot Routes. And then one of, another one of my absolute favorite parallels. Love the Fire and Ice. Super cool card. Zay Flowers, that one did get a 9. And then we have a Nico Collins on the Genesis. Really, really good receiver for the Texans. I like Nico a lot. And then finally, uh, we have a Jordan Addison Rookie Revolution Cosmic. And that one did get a PSA 10. So that is going to do it. That is going to wrap it up for this submission. And um, honestly, I don't have a giveaway on this video because, again, this one uh, was not my submission. So I honest, obviously, I'm not going to give away one of his cards. Uh, don't really have anything else to give away at the moment. So I do apologize. Not going to be a giveaway on this one. Hopefully you guys uh, are okay. The giveaways will be back in the following video. Um, and actually the following video is going to have a really, really nice giveaway. So hopefully you guys do forgive me. Uh, I'll make up for it on the next one. But hopefully you guys did enjoy. Um, and I'll see you guys soon.